looks hot, man. Yeah? Here today in Plano, Texas at Toyota North America headquarters. Uh, we're here to see uh, all the employees and some of the executives that work on the racing side. Get to chat with them for a minute, uh, tour around the headquarters a little bit, and then sign some autographs. So it should be a good day to get all the uh, motorsports group together and uh, in the same place for once. Hi, I'm Tyler. Hi, I'm Kelsey. And we are here with Eric Jones, who is a driver for us for Toyota Racing. Welcome. So you won Rookie of the Year in each series in three consecutive years. Yes. Yeah, you got that right, yeah. All right, I was like, it's a lot of words for one thing. So, like, That's tell amazing. Me. That's yeah. never been done before. Uh, yeah, we were the uh, the first one. I don't I don't think there's been another one yet. So that's, that's been, that was pretty cool. I mean, that was something nobody had done before. Um, that and, uh, you know, nobody's won a championship in all three series either. So it was cool to be the first guy to do that. And, um, you know, definitely something that you hang your hat on. Well, right, he's back in 04. I haven't been able to find him since. Sure, good thing I got these back. What are you doing? No. win this summer in July in a big way at Daytona of all places. So congratulations to you, Eric. What was it like though? You know, when you're a younger guy, you're coming up, you're trying to prove yourself to finally get that win. Well, the Cup Series is really tough. Um, you know, you go through trucks and Xfinity and you think um, they're challenging at first and you learn how to how to race and how to win. And uh, you get used to running well in those series, you jump in the Cup Series, it's a, it's a totally new game. So you, you just spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. And um, I've had some great cars, I've been with great teams and great partners, and um, you know, five years now with Toyota. So it's it's been great opportunities, but it takes time to put it all together. And um, you know, I feel like this year we've done a good job being consistent right up front. But getting that first win always means a lot and, uh, in any series, and, and definitely getting the one in the Cup Series was. You know, it's it's what I've wanted to do my whole life was was racing NASCAR at the, at the top level, and to, you know, to finally reach that pinnacle was a huge moment. When I had Eric Jones in my drift car, I mean, obviously I have no experience in NASCAR, but watching these guys rip up the ovals, I mean, the first thing you see when they go sideways is chaos, and they go straight into the wall. So I didn't really know what to expect when I was hearing that Eric was going to be in my car, and I was kind of skeptical about it at first, but it really surprised me, and I was really mind blown at it, at how well he can wheel the car. And, uh, on, uh, I think I scared you. But you did. I mean, I've had a lot of uh, agree. I mean, I don't know how many times I sucked up the seat cushion, but. Congratulations on your first win. Okay. The other one is this winter. We're going to do a little late model racing. Are we going to sit on the couch? What are we going to do? I'd love to go do some late model racing. I, I think it's going to be more sitting on the couch. But uh, I'm thinking about trying to run Speed Fest down at uh, Cordial uh, in January. I, I'd love to go and run the Derby again, but I don't really have the right. Uh, I like to really do things right if I'm going to do it. And if I can't do them right, then I'd rather not, not do it at all. So uh, no, der no Derby, but uh, hopefully get down in January. All right, wrapping up here in Plano, about to head to the Speedway and uh, get going for the race this weekend.
tracks, who doesn't, but you know. Maybe it'll just wreck him. has had a race that hasn't been had some adversity in it so yeah what else Jason yeah. Burnett crew chief on the seven car told Why? me their goal was to get out of Texas yeah. and oh, not boy. be in a must win ton of fun tonight and you know what let's go ahead and kick it off right now are you ready fans come on let me hear you let's do it driver the number 20 and his dog mr eric jones and oscar how'd you get oscar i know a lot of drivers travel with your dogs and oscar travels quite a bit yeah oscar comes with me uh pretty much every weekend he's he's been along for the ride so i've had him since uh I guess August of last year, around Pocono, and uh, he came from Michigan, so he's uh, a Michigan guy like me, and he's, he flew down to, uh, to North Carolina, and now he, he lives his life on the road, so it's pretty neat. Oh! Hey, you want dinner? I bet you're starving. Yeah, he probably is. It's a lot different. So uh, before the repave, you know, the two ends were pretty much the same, pretty close. They had a few little differences that really from standing up here you wouldn't have been able to see, but you could feel on the track in the car. Uh, now one and two uh, is only got, I think, 14 or 15 degrees of banking. Flatter. Yeah, it's, it's a lot flatter. And down there it's got like 26 or 7. So mm -hmm. you're carrying a ton of speed off the four uh, down into one, and you're really trying to get the car slowed up uh, and get it through one and two. But there's a big compromise there as well. Um, if, you're, if your car is going to be good in one and two, you're going to be giving up some in three and four, and if it's good in three and four, you're going to give up some in one and two. So trying to find that balance is probably the toughest part uh, at this track now. Hey guys, we're starting uh, P12 here today, standing on the grid. I got the support clips Camry. Solid day for us. Uh, gonna hop on the plane, head home. See you guys later.